Right, well guys, hello and welcome to another vlog. Now we are just off the back of the Berghead vlog that we did. You know, up on the headland there, as you can see. The last time the weather really deteriorated, so I just started to head home. It's only 10 minutes away from here, you see. But damn, oh, it's not so good, eh? I check out today, you guys, eh? A lot nicer today, I have to say, than it was yesterday. But yeah, so this is Barkhead, you guys, and we vlogged out here on the bike, and then we did the tour up top. And we've done these tours of the Barkhead Harbour before, there's a real stormy one we did lately when we were here on holiday, so it's well worth a look if you want. But as you can see, you guys, look, Barkhead, there's a caravan park, just over there. And hopefully you'll see how far the water, look, how far it's going out the water. From there, it goes right the way out, you guys. You can you can walk right out. But where we're going to go, you guys, is through those trees over there. Out the other side, and we're going to get to Rose Isle, which is just about in the middle there. And what we've got over there is um, Findhorn. They're all just, you know, just 15 minutes to get to Findhorn, really. And uh, Rose Isle, so that's where we're heading off to today, you guys. And when we get there, I'm going to do another tour of the... the I did it way back in the cold, you know. It was a... It's the World War II gun turret, and of course, as you can see, we've just got Scandinavia just off in that way. But these beaches would have been just perfect for Nazi Germany to come and uh, invade, you see. So I'll show you them when we get down there. There's big concrete blocks all the way around to block landing craft. They've moved back quite a bit, I have to say, since then, but they're still pretty cool. So here we go, guys. Yeah, let's go. I just, I've never really taken the bike down this bit here, I've taken the car, but I just took the bike down here and it's pretty slidey, like funny little lock blocks. <laughs> be nice to do some wheel spins, but it's somebody's driveway. And here we go, and Barkhead just must look awesome today, you guys, what a lovely village. Let's just take you down quick. Here we go. There we go, fire blade still needs warmed up, it's only at 60 degrees. Bike normally runs about 70 or 75. And uh, it can sound like a bit of a bag of bolts until it's up to temp. But yeah, I worked here for quite some time, you guys. Thoroughly enjoyed it. What a great little village. And I uh, no doubt we'll be back here in the summer with the caravan, you know, we'll get the proper look around the beach and whatnot. And again, we just always hope you enjoy. Now, when I came up here, there's a funeral going on. Yeah, look. So we're going to quieten down. Yeah, there's a funeral. Let's go quiet the bike down as we go past. There we are. Yeah, so here we go. Yeah, these roads, you know, the fire blade really has got stiff suspension. I've got it set that way. And it tends to be these kind of B roads, we call them. You know, are very potholy and they feel ev like that. You feel every bump. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, so it's just a turn off up to the right here, you guys. Through the trees and then along. And wait until you see it, you guys. It's like one of those pine forests. Let me shut the visor. It's like one of those pine forests. Um, you know, where you go and barbecue and summer days and stuff, you know. And I haven't been there for a while, but... It's absolutely beautiful. And the, the beaches are pristine. Absolute pristine condition. <laughs> well, just will be the day that I go down, there'll be beer cans all over the place. But no, on pristine beaches, you guys, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so our turn off's just down here. We could go down that way, but uh, it's just like a big long straight. This is just a wee bit nicer with the trees, you know? But I'm not sure, like, the sun's kind of in our faces. Uh, we'll just, I'll just have to be really careful. Let's see if we can get this bike up to temp, you guys. Dearie me. That's better. 
He should roll up in the tempter now. Yeah, these older bikes, you guys, you know, you've got to a bit of tender love and care as well, you know. This bike tops out, what is it, 11,000 revs? So, you know, 9,000 marks for a bike of this age, you guys. Maybe even 8,000. Ah, you don't need it. It's fast enough. Yes, yeah, so these we've got a lot of these forests round about where we stay, you guys. Lovely pine trees. There's loads of in there will take the quad bike. There's loads and loads of tracks that you can take the quad bike down. So we'll do that with David and Emily one day. Give you a look around these forests properly. Yeah, just this long straight. And guys, basically with this vlog, you know, we've been to Roselle before, we've been to uh, Findhorn before, but not coming in this direction. And the reason I want to take you this direction is because we're going to Loch Ness soon in the caravan, and um, that'll take us nicely down to Inverness, which will be really good. So it should tie in, hopefully. It's a funny junction this one here, be really careful. As you can see there's loads of stones right there in the beside the central reservation. And that'll just be a bike and it'll just take you down, baby. There, let's go. Yeah, normally you guys you can get a bit of a wheelie coming off the top of here. But you know there's you just don't know what's at the other side, so. Plus that van's there. But you get quite a bump here and you can actually take the front wheel off the ground. Maybe we should have hung back. Boo! Never mind. Yeah, look at those fields are all ploughed as well. They're normally green grass as far as the eye can see. But uh, obviously getting ploughed for the springtime. That's the sun out of my eyes now, but we'll see it better. Just gonna open the visor a second, you guys. Get a bit steamy kind. And there we are, you guys, Roselle. That's a big feel a lot smoother now. Well, no it's not actually. I think it's only been out a couple of times this year, so you know, maybe I need to get the plugs cleaned up. Yeah, I get it. It's fine once you take it up about over 3,000 revs, but it's not happy under that at the minute. Another of these speed bumps, these are fine in the car, but the bike, oh my goodness me, we'll stand up just a little bit as we go over, there we go. Yeah, we should actually come off onto the dirt track and down, you guys. The guys, we are doing quite a lot with the kids at the moment, they've got their own uh, Barney Family Fun YouTube channel, and uh, it's just due to some of YouTube's recent changes, so they've now got their own channel. So if any of your kids fancy a bit of a laugh with David and Emily, that's where they'll find them. And the kids are great, you guys. They do quad biking and canoeing and, oh, you name it. David's got his model city and oh, special days, birthdays, Christmases, caravan holidays. Oh, my goodness. They do it all. Their dance card is fuller than mine, let me tell you. That's running off now. Yeah, and I have to watch. It's, it's quite it's quite cold just now, you guys. There's a lot of ice this morning, so I'm not hugely keen on going too fast. But it looks like it looks like it's okay. 
But yeah, guys, you can basically come down here. Nobody be down at this time of the year. Except for that man there. But basically, guys, you can come down here with the quad bike easily and go win all these forests right along and down the beach. I'll give you a proper look around. I can't hit that at 15 miles an hour, let me tell you. There we go, and it should split off. Here we go. In we come. Oh man, there's a few folk down. That's amazing. It's absolutely freezing. Ends of my fingers are really cold. Let's have a quick look around. Normally just park here and then go up and over. But what I'll do is I'll just go in and round. Yeah, there's not many. So as you can imagine, you guys, summertime here is, you know, football, barbecues and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, isn't it cool? It is so beautiful, you guys. Man alive. It's going to rattle my fillings out. I'm pretty sure it's over here. Which that's a really big... That's a really big bit. I wonder if I'm allowed my bike along there. Yeah, doubt it, eh? There's a few cars around. And of course, eh, you know, it's quite popular to come down here with your motorhome. Because it's obviously free. And eh, sleep the night. So very cool. This is very slidey. I can feel the front wheel going already. Just going around this little bit here. Nobody coming. Just pull up over this side here, it's better. Yeah, isn't it lovely? Yeah, but what we'll do, you guys, is that's just basically the little vlog from Barkhead to, to here. And what I'm going to go away and do now is film the tour, which means up, and up the, through those trees. Just over there that you see, and that's the beach right there. But maybe that's where we'll finish it, eh? Let's see if I can get around here without slipping off. There's a huge hole there. Oh, it's not easy work, you guys. A lot easier in the car. So what we'll do, find a nice spot for a wee photo of the bike as always. We'll pull them into here like this, like so I can get them back out again as well. Oh. Isn't it tranquil? Of course there's a park for the kids and that, you know. I'll finish off the vlog by walking up there, you guys. Let's see, I'll just adjust the camera just a second. There we go. How's that, eh? Come on then, I'll take you up top give you a quick, a quick look before I start the tour and we split these videos up guys just to keep them nice and short you know and you know just good to watch just enough you know instead of doing great big 40 minute long ones or 45 minute long ones you know try and keep them to about 20 minutes each between 15 and 20 minutes really Isn't that beautiful absolutely lovely I can't wait to come up here with the kids this year but yeah, and you can have a barbecue down here, and of course, as you'll see when we get up over the top, you're just like two minutes walk from a pristine beach, an absolute pristine beach. And as you can see, it's just coming up on the beach sun now. This is good exercise for me, actually. I like to see it all. just opens up when we get up here, look. So this is, Barkhead's off to our right, which is east, Finhorn's off to our west, left there, and this is us almost in the middle really, you guys. So here we go, look at this. Oh yeah, the tide is out. And guys, that bay that you're looking at right there, 
That's basically Finthorn just up over there, you guys. And I'm going to take you out to where we left just a minute ago, which is right there, right on the point where you see that white house up top. That's where we were just a minute ago. A minute, a few minutes ago. And up we go. Yeah, so guys, you'll see the World War II, like, all the way along, right the way around. And the same all the way down there again. But guys, we were basically going to get hit one of the bunkers, which is a little bit further down for our tour. I'm going to give you a little look around that. But for now, guys, listen, thanks so much for watching. And I just really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. They are here for you to enjoy, you know, and I just hope you really enjoy being along, you know, and feel like you're part of the ride. Just leave me to get cold and <laughs> whatnot, you know, because it is for reason today. So God bless guys and I'll have this tour for you tomorrow.